welcome back today i'm going to show you how to tie a pink shrimp um probably the most well-known grayland pattern out there uh as most people know how effective these are for grayland uh, they're absolutely deadly so let's tie it place the hook in the vise The hook is a fuller mill check nymph hook in a size 10. I'll tie these in all the sizes really um, from a 16 up. Uh, I'll, I'll weight the body just to get nice and deep. These size 10s are, I like quite a lot of weight on. I'll use the um, adhesive lead foil. And I'll cut strips of about a millimetre wide. So a full strip. I'll start off by placing onto the back and touching turns, work my way up to the eye of the hook. Or just before the eye, should I say, sorry. About there. And I'll start winding my way back, touching turns. Just like so, in about two turns from the back, I'll start again and go back up. And I'll want about four turns on the back, because that's where the thickness is on the on the scud patterns. So I'll trim off the excess lead, push everything nice and neat. Right, so there's enough weight there. I, I use these on the droppers just to get, get they do get down pretty quick too. The thread I'm using is a pink silk. I'll start off at the eye of the hook and tie it in, work my way back. Cut off the excess. I, I just want to like covering over this lead, I'm not Covering it all up. Right. So, for the wire, I'm using a UTC wire in red. I'll tie it in at the back. Work my way down just past the lead. I'll start pull it out of there. Back up a touch. For the shell back, I'm using a um, side by um, body glass in clear. So I'll cut off a little strip of that. Just tie it in slightly. As I've tied it in, I'll pull it, stretch it out back down to the wire. Nothing like that. A couple more turns. Now for the the dubbing on this fly, I'm using a a mix of ice dub in fluoro hot pink and ice dub UV lavender. So this is going to be a 50-50 mix. And I'll just I'll take a, a pinch out of both packets and just as you can see I'll just roughly mix it in. Like so that's it. I'll, I'll sometimes lick my fingers. This this stuff here can be tricky to dub on your thread. So if you just lick your fingers, it'll go on a little easier. Or you could use wax. It's entirely up to you. So I'm working my way up like so. Come on. Continue tapering it down nice and 
thin as I get to the eye. That's it. I'll put a little half itch in just to keep everything tight. Right, now I'll pull the scub back over the top and stretch it out. I'll just pull a few fibers down first. Pull it over, stretch it out. Do a few turns over the top and a few turns underneath. I'll just leave that there. Now I'll come in with the wire and I'll start and rib it up. This one's always tricky. Or if you pull it quite tight as you're ribbing it and it'll leave a nice indentation in it. If your shell back spins, then just twist it back into place and get it to a nice and spaced out. One more turn at the front. I'll come in and I'll unravel my shell back like so and I'll come in with my wire and in front of it and I'll tie this off in front of the shell back <clears throat> there we go now oh, thread's just unraveling now come back in I'll tie it off again Twist my wire off. There we go. Now pull the shell back nice and tight. A few turns there and in front of the eye. By lifting the shell back up, I'll just put the lift finishes in. Just keep everything in place. I'll cut my shell back off. Now, if you you can leave it like that, but I like to make a little head on head on my shrimps. So I'll come in with my thread and just tidy everything up, make a nice little pink head, like so. I'll come in, do it, finish, tighten it down. thread, get your dubbing needle, pull out the legs, I like it quite buggy, this is absolutely deadly for growing these pink, pink shrimps, as most people know, on this side. Trim the legs just above the hook point. They stand out like that. And that there is the pink shrimp. Definitely have these in your grill and box over winter. Um, thanks for watching.